Okay, today we're going to charge this heat pump at low outdoor temperature using compressor discharge temperature. Now let's take a look at a few of the numbers right now. You can see our ambient temperature is about 28 outside ambient. Suction pressure essentially 40, 8.6 or 7 uh, superheat and 152 on the head and subcool of 17. Okay, uh, one other thing I've got the discharge temperature on there and it's 116. Now we're going to charge this by discharge temperature and this unit is overcharged at least for this temperature. Let's take a look at the split across the coil. Okay, my split across the coil is running about 8. Take a look at the temperatures. Uh, supply is 73 and return is 65. So not a heck of a lot of heat being moved by this thing. Let's see if I get the charge correct what happens to all these numbers. All right, I should have on my discharge temperature, which I'm reading close to the uh, uh, service valve, not right next to the compressor. Uh, this is actually Goodman's way of charging in the winter, and this is how they say to do it. I should have 138 discharge pressure. That's 110 degrees plus ambient. So I'm going to pull some refrigerant out of this thing and let's see what happens. Okay, I pretty much finished this. You notice on that uh, meter on the right, I'm at 143. Uh, my ambient went up a little bit to 32, so that brought my 110 plus ambient up to 142, so I'm right in the ballpark there. Uh, 43 on the suction pressure, 9 superheat, 161 head, 19 subcool. At subcool, it is normal for it to be high with low ambient temperatures. I've only changed this thing by about four ounces. That's about all it took to, to make that change. Uh, and it took a good solid hour to do it. Because you got to wait 10 minutes between each change. Let's take a look at what the split is across the coil. Okay, here you can see the split. It's running between 11 and 12 for the most part. This thing does kind of bounce around quite a bit. Uh, so it's a little higher than it was, but I'm also four degrees warmer than I was. So that's probably the difference in the temperature difference across the coil. If you note, know, these things do not move much temperature across the coil at these low temperatures. Some of the newer ones are a little better for that because they're higher efficiency, but they still drop quite a bit. Okay, that's charging with discharge temperature. But I will be uh, checking this uh, at different outdoor ambients to see if it holds up to the same discharge temperature.